it's a fabulous early morning here just outside the village of Calverton and I was out far too late last night and didn't get back till about well about 10 to 3 by the time I'd sorted everything out and got to bed and now it's about 10 to 7 a few hours later but I'm here on the search for Nottinghamshire's newest moth and it's something rather unusual that I'm looking for. Well, I find myself tucked along this little footpath. It's a footpath which allows you to access the former Calverton colliery. I popped my car just 50 yards away. In fact, I can see it from where I'm sat. It's fenced on one side, and on the other side, there are some mature or semi-mature hawthorns, the bottom of which are covered in the green lichen, the Praria incarna. And that's what I'm looking on. For this moth but it's the larval feeding signs that i'm looking for and those larval feeding signs are a tube but a small tube at that and almost looking like part of the bark itself and covered in lichen fragments is exactly the thing i'm after you may well see a tube like item in the center of the screen tucked in between a small crevice it's just here look and that's the larval tube of infercotinia argenti maculella and i'm going from memory on that so don't ask me to repeat it at least not in this clip and that is the larval feeding tube inside there will be a small larva the moth itself is only very small and that tube isn't even an inch long it's probably 15 to 17 millimeters in length and the larva feeds on the lichen forming a silken tube as it goes along and fixing particles of lichen to that tube this was a species that I'd asked Nick and Samantha Brownlee to look for and this was the pl first place I think that Nick and Samantha came to look for it and within a few yards they found it and it's new to Nottinghamshire. Surprisingly this species is probably one of those species that will be wherever we look on this kind of lichen. It must be at Sherwood. It has to be at Sherwood, surely. It is in Yorkshire, as far as I'm aware. And so it must be elsewhere in Nottinghamshire. It's a tricky little thing to find. Dillis and myself had some sort of tentative or half-hearted searches for it. But all credit to Nick and Samantha for turning up this particular moth. I know it doesn't look much, and if you didn't know what you were looking for, you wouldn't give this a second glance, or even a third glance, to be honest. The moth, the forewings are black, and there are beautiful little silver lines or streaks running vertically down the wings when the moth is at rest. It looks a terrific little thing. But this is a terrific little thing because it's a species that I've always wanted to see. And at last we have it here in Nottinghamshire. I'm surprised actually that it's never been recorded in Nottinghamshire before. But it's also surprising just what can be in your local county. You never know what is around. Even though it's never been recorded doesn't mean that something's not there wherever you live. What a terrific little find this is. And for me personally, well worth getting up for and travelling down to Calverton to find this little silken tube complete with occupant. 
the new species for Nottinghamshire. And what else is out there? <laughs>